Well, here we are. We're at lock 16 at Napton. This is our fifth lock of the day, I think. Anyway, this is the one that they had trouble uh, repairing. Took them almost two weeks longer than they expected. But it uh, looks great with the new gates and the new gear work. Yeah, brilliant. So uh, just a few more locks to do and we're gonna settle down and uh, put our feet up, have a shower and uh, go to the pub later. Oh, that there's the cidery behind us. The closed cidery. We've been uh, told to go in there so many times <laughs> because the cider's great. And as I said earlier on, we're not cider drinkers. But we just thought we ought to. We ought to give it a go and show you what it's like. But uh can't say I'm that disappointed. <laughs> Only open from nine till five. Who knew? It's now yeah. six. And we thought we were being quite good to come out for a little tester. So obviously they don't drink cider in the evenings in Napton. Never mind. There anyway, is a pub around the corner. Yeah, we're going to the Folly <laughs> pub and we know that you can get a good beer there. So let's go. <laughs> Junction, okay, just about, Fran. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> um, yes, I got round the hairpin bend. We're going in the opposite direction, and I didn't hit anything. I didn't hit any sides or any boats. But after 11 months and one day on this boat, I still managed to uh, press the wrong bow thruster when I need it. Yes. Um, I'm better off without them, and I because I go the wrong way. But anyway, I corrected it which is the big thing because it is such a, an iconic and busy junction, isn't it? It is, you did really well. There's always hordes of people there <laughs> waiting for you to make their mistake. That's why we went uh, around there before the pub opens, so you hadn't got an audience. It's, to it's speak well on. known that people just sit there watching, waiting for a disaster and they shout at you, so I'll laugh at you, but I go away with it. <laughs> so we're back on the boat after being on land for a week in Lancashire. Really enjoyed it, didn't we? It was great stretching yeah. our legs. Um, glad to be back. It's, there's certain things about being back. It was a lovely house and a big roll top bar, countryside views, dishwasher, all those things that make life easy. Um, but it was nice to come back to the boat as well, wasn't it? So. Widescreen television. <laughs> Watched ourselves on the TV. <laughs> Don't tell them that. Well, you have to see from their perspective, don't you? It was, it was, Rich was watching on the big screen television, finding fault in the filming and decided oh. that he needed a new camera. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what happened. <laughs> anyway. So we're just doing a little cruise today, a uh, couple of miles just to get somewhere out in the sticks, in the quiet. So we got some footage of when we were in Lancashire last week and uh, went to a beautiful park. Uh, Astley Park, isn't it, yeah. in Chorley. Uh, amazing, it's all free and they've got a walled garden there, it's absolutely beautiful. Went to the beach, uh, went on lots of walks, so uh, here's a little few clips of what we have got up to. Enjoying yourself, Fran? Oh, you could say that. This is worth coming back to land for for a little while. A couple of busy days getting here, but now I'm in a massive 
hot bath, so hot, it's lovely. There's a fantastic view out the window, a glass of wine on the go, a book, and I've just discovered that if I say, Alexa, play me some music. Play your personalised station, my soundtrack from Amazon Music. Oh, shove up. <laughs> <laughs> no one's coming in here. Interesting place that, Fran. With all the statues and the models and the, I, what are they called, mannequins, mannequins in the garden, yeah? Bizarre. Do you remember it from three years ago? I do, yeah, yeah. Well, interestingly enough, three years ago to the day, we were moored at this junction. We moored here on the 18th of March, 2019. Yeah, yeah. It's in now Constanza. the 20th, in Constanza. <laughs> and, uh, the opening sequence of the video then was listen to the birdies and the bird song in the morning was just amazing so i hope that's going to be replicated this time we're here well we've noticed the difference um, in the week that we've been away from the boat again the bird song has changed and spring's obviously moved on a week more um but yeah we'll, we'll listen out early tomorrow morning see if we can repeat the uh, bird song yeah no baby ducks yet though no baby ducks, no, um, I mean, there's lots of signs of spring around, but just no ducks. So I don't quite know what's happened, but um, there's a bit of a competition going about who sees them first, isn't there now? Yeah. So. <laughs> Keeping our eyes peeled. It, it just always puts a smile on your face when you see ducklings. So I don't think anybody can look at the ducklings and not smile. Anyway, our friends who had the boat last week, Simon and Ruth, managed to get the boat from Napton Junction all the way up to Hawkesbury Junction, distance of about 20 miles, I think, something like that. So that's a big chunk that we don't have to do as we're heading north. At the moment, we're near, heading towards Nuneaton and Atherston. So lots and lots of locks to do in the next few days or so. But we've got lots of memories along this stretch, haven't we? Yeah, as you yeah. say, from you know, three years ago, and uh, it's just interesting when you're going back on the same place again, what you remember and what you don't. And at the junction where we're staying tonight is uh, the junction with the Ashby Canal uh, that we went up three years or so ago. And uh, 
that's where we picked up Constanza four years ago, and that's where Constanza is now. Yeah, so, so we're not actually going to go up the Ashby this time because uh, we haven't got the time at the moment. But uh, yeah, it'd be lovely to see her, wouldn't it? To cruise past. Um, yeah, one day we'll see her again. <laughs> but um, if you're interested in photography, our friend Simon has his own YouTube channel, and uh, he concentrates on landscape photography. He's, uh, he's a pretty good photographer. So if you're interested, check out Simon Booth on YouTube. There's a link coming up now. And uh, yeah, just some wonderful stuff. So cheers, Simon. And I know he was up at 5, 5.30 in the morning to take photos while it was on the boat. So Crazy there should be guy. some good scenes coming. You're not going to hit that bridge, are you? Friend? I'm not going to hit the bridge. The camera <laughs> might, though. Right, so we better get ready. We're just about to moor up. So uh, catch you later. Today is the 20th of March and it's a Sunday and it's spring equinox which I believe is the first day of astronomical spring as opposed to meteorological spring um, and from now on the days are going to get longer and it's just absolutely the perfect spring day you can't imagine it being any better we've cruised for a couple of hours we're now relaxing but I can't get out of my head the idea of sowing some seeds so I've come into the well deck now to do a little bit of gardening in this glorious sunshine. I've got just a few packets of seed. I've got some mixed lettuce, which are always a great success on the boat and keep us fed in salads all summer long normally. And some rocket, which we absolutely love. And they are both going to go in this trough, a line of each. I've bought some microgreens, which I've never tried before, which I think you cut really, really young and put into salads and probably should just go into a small trough. But they're actually going to go in this little pot and we'll just keep in the kitchen and try it out and cut them as we need them for sandwiches or a little bit dressing. I don't know. It's just worth a try. And then I've got some coriander, which I'm going to grow in this pot probably under the pram hood in the back until it's warm enough to bring out oh that's my glass of wine by the way because it's a beautiful spring sunday afternoon um so there we are coriander lettuce leaves rocket and microgreens which is a brand new one for us to try we'll see because they can grow all winter i think if they work indoors so that will be interesting to try and see what happens. It's Monday morning and we've had a lazy start to the day. Uh, lots of coffees, lovely breakfast and uh, sat doing the crossword. No boat's gone past all morning but we've decided to move now. But as soon as we untied we had to wait for four boats to pass us. It's unbelievable. So we were in a bit of a convoy but they're all ahead of us so we can go at our own pootling speed. Gorgeous day, gorgeous morning. The sun was beaming down, but it's now been covered up with a bit of grey cloud. But the prospect for the rest of the week is beautiful sunshine every day, apparently. So a great start to the spring. There's Fran in the background filming some botanical interest. So stand by everybody.
These nettles are really looking lush now and they're growing by the day so quickly and so tender we really need to start picking some. But this is what I'm looking at today and this is called sticky willy or cleavers, I'm not sure of the Latin name of it. It grows really long and is supposed to be really good if you just simply stir fry it or saute it with a little bit of butter as a spring vegetable. And I've not tried it so I really need to have a go. And then I've just spotted there's lots of cow parsley which is our favourite flower just beginning to grow. So I'll keep hunting, no wild garlic yet. about to say that it's been really nice walking on a good towpath with no mud for once but then this happened nice and I've just found such a big clump of sticky willy um, I've picked a nice bunch of it I'm just gonna have a go just to test it out we'll have it as a little side dish with pasta tonight um, I just thought I'd try it it has to be done We'll let you know how we get on. And Rich just spotted this from the boat and it's a tiny little patch of white violets. I'm not picking those. I know you can eat the blue violets dog violets but um, in the meantime I've got some catching up to do. There's been so much rubbish along this canal both in the water and on the towpath. Priority is to get a new litter picker and some bags and start clearing up the rubbish. It's really awful. She's far too big for that. She'll never get inside it. Well, I managed to get the police car out of the canal with the help of a canoeist. Um, but it'll have to stay there with the lawnmower that somebody else has already fished out because I'm tired of pushing it. Unfortunately, in the meantime, I left my harvest of sticky willy behind. Hey ho. <laughs> Well, that was Nuneaton, a little town full of surprises with boats around bends and police cars in the canal. But I've never known a town with so many allotments. This must be the fifth lot of allotments behind me now. Dead jealous. Well, that's it. That's us done for another episode. And uh, I've dug out the roller and the paintbrush because uh, a bit of well overdue touching up is required. And I didn't encourage him, honest. <laughs>
<laughs> the spring must be in the air. Spring is in the air. <laughs> so uh, if you've enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to watch some more, have a look at this one. Or maybe that one. And we'll see you next time. Cheers. See you Take soon. care. Bye. Bye.